played an excellent game. You know, regardless of uh, the early goal, sometimes you get a little bit unlucky, you know. Uh, but that's part of the game. But I thought we played good soccer. I think tactically the, the guys followed the plan that uh, we, we, we discussed and we talked about all week. We created chances. We were dangerous. And it was an exciting game. And, uh, again, we found a way to not only create chances and score some goals. So I think it was an exciting game. Uh, from both sides, they, they left everything on the field. And, but um, uh, it was an important game for us. Uh, being at home again is kind of a tough stretch. We've got to take one game at a time. But starting with this one, it was uh, uh, important to continue to play well. Uh, and obviously getting the three points uh, was big. Well, they did last year. You know, they came back. <laughs> we were up 1-0, and they came back. So this is this year. Obviously, you know, the... The, the, the strikers that they have are a handful. They're they're very good in the air, and you know it's uh, you have to be very organized in the back. And a lot of times, you're late in the game. I think they they're a team that doesn't give up. Uh, they're very good in the air. They're very good at winning second balls, and it just seemed to to create uh, you know just their belief. You know they don't give up. So uh, you know we were expecting it. We talked about it, but it's it's never easy. You know dealing with it in a game and. Um, you know, last year we gave up a late goal, but they came back and they scored in 97th minute or something. But, you know, this time, uh, you know, the team uh, defended well all the way till the end. But Dilly's got a lot of qualities and ability. So uh, you've seen some of the qualities that he's at, he has. But the, right now for me is what he's doing so well. I mean, not only his ability to be make good decisions, hold the ball and be dangerous, he's great one-on-one -on -one player where he can beat defenders, but now his ability, like the goal he scored on the weak side, making those hard runs and getting in position and following the play. But he's only going to get better. You know, I think it's, it was a matter of time to, to get his confidence, to get acquainted with, with, with the players. And, you know, all that cohesion that you develop, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. But, you know, I've, you've seen the qualities that he has, and now we need to keep pushing him because the consistency he can even do, I expect a lot bigger things from him. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, that position's never easy, you know, uh, especially when you need rhythm, you need games. And I thought Paolo, you know, did well. You know, it's difficult when you don't play in a long time to, to, to step in. Uh, but I thought his ability to communicate and talk to the guys and stuff, and, you know, I think a lot of, you know, he made some good saves. So I, I thought he was good. He's going to get better, obviously, with, with um, uh, minutes that he's playing. But it's a difficult position when you don't have rhythm and, and to go in. And play, but you know he's an experienced guy, even though at his young age. And uh, I thought he, he did very well, and he does communicate a lot with the with the group in the back, and I think that helps.